New ambulances are now operating around the country in Jordan. What makes them special? They were designed and financed thanks to the Swiss Confederation's economic cooperation program supporting the public health sector of Jordan, whose population has grown from around 6 million in 2010 to more than 9.5 million today. A spectacular increase due to the geopolitical situation of the region and the present refugee crisis. These ambulances are well suited to a region with diverse terrain and extreme weather conditions. They are also modern, responding to European norms and offer better emergency care. This project was based on a, a high priority that was identified in uh, the health sector of Jordan around 2008 and 2009, when uh, it became obvious that transporting uh, injured is not enough, but that you also have to be able to uh, assist them on the spot and to treat them uh, at the moment of the accident. The project finances 143 ambulances. 65 of them are off-road vehicles that can reach the most remote and rugged parts of the country, withstand extreme conditions both in urban and rural areas, and also provide specialized support in refugee camps. What do they all have in common? Ergonomics and an interior layout designed by and for the Jordanian Civil Defense in partnership with the Geneva University Hospitals, HUG. A real institution in the country, the General Directorate of Jordan Civil Defense is a public service which provides help to the population across the whole country. Some 80% of its activities require the use of ambulances. When we did the study, we identified very specific needs that were different from the south to the north or here the, the, the eastern region. And that's why to help them to provide assistance or even expertise to find a good design was something that was very, very, very important. We provide support, we provide assistance, but really the, the, the plan and the concept came by Jordan Civil Defence. The ambulances are assembled in Morges, a small city situated on the shores of Lake Geneva. What makes the project unusual is having a Swiss and a Jordanian company working together to produce these vehicles in Switzerland and then to provide the necessary maintenance services in Jordan. For Tradintech, a contractor specialized in medical equipment, which was selected by Jordan Civil Defense as a result of a public tendering process, this contract has allowed the company to expand its area of competence and to increase its workforce. C'est un challenge, c'est un challenge industriel, économique, euh, et je, nous espérons, bien entendu nous nous consacrons maintenant entièrement à, à l'exécution de ce projet, mais nous espérons par la suite effectivement continuer à, à développer et qu'il y ait d'autres commandes ou des, ou des plus, plus petits contrats pour la même région ou éventuellement pour la Suisse ou l'Europe ou d'autres pays, d'autres parties du monde. In addition to the procurement of 143 new ambulances, a whole program to improve emergency services has been developed. SECO and HUG worked together with Jordan Civil Defense to put in place a quality assurance system and thereby to ensure project continuity and evolution. Paramedical teams have been formed to expand capacity and to deliver better emergency services to the most urgent cases. In this project we have different parts and of course the training part is the most important but the role was really to build the capacity. I mean we train instructors, that's why I mean those instructors will train also trainees. It was not possible to train only the, the paramedic but we have to build the capacity by training instructors. These vehicles will also uh, strengthen our uh, capabilities in civil defence to be able to provide uh, our uh, services uh, in very professional manner. Some trainer, specialized trainers uh, uh, from a Swiss government uh, uh, came to Jordan and the, uh, delivers, uh, delivered some courses, specialized courses for our paramedic. Uh, and we are looking forward for uh, more training for our paramedics. Actually, uh, we feel uh, more confident uh, with our uh, knowledge of our uh, paramedic people uh, and uh, our capabilities in general. In October 2016, the first 30 ambulances were delivered and presented to the drivers and paramedical teams, which were set up and trained during the summer months, 
and then deployed to their designated locations across the country. These new vehicles with their teams are based in the various Jordan civil defence stations as well as in several refugee camps. It's a, a very important collaboration and exchange of experience which is always important in this uh, kind of projects. And Switzerland can bring in uh, with their experience um, quality, expertise, which is I think very well received here. So we are uh, having some trainings and of course we are looking into the quality assurance which are very important um, issues and we would like to have this project sustainable. Aging and unsuitable equipment will progressively be replaced by these new ambulances which meet modern standards for emergency services. Almost two-thirds of the current fleet will thus be renewed but Jordan Civil Defence does not plan to stop there. It has already begun upgrading some of its ambulances to these new specifications and is thus progressively modernizing its fleet of ambulances as a whole. This project represents a comprehensive approach everybody is proud of from the highest levels of the state down to the citizens. Although rooted in the economic cooperation, this project clearly has humanitarian character as it supports Jordan in the assistance it provides to immigrant refugees. Surrounded by Syria and Iraq, Jordan's population counts some two and a half million refugees. This makes Jordan one of the largest host countries for refugees worldwide. Some of these ambulances, made in Switzerland, are specifically equipped for missions in the refugee camps. Actually, the project is part of the economic cooperation between uh, Switzerland and Jordan. But given the fact that it strengthens the uh, institution of Jordan civil defense, it also helps now to uh, alleviate the uh, problems that are raised by the immigration crisis. I think this project is coming on the correct and the right time. Now Jordan uh, has around 1.4 million refugees from uh, Syria. They are coming here and we have uh, lots of refugee camps and really uh, some of these vehicles it will serve those uh, people uh, they are those, those people they are need uh, our services so this project it's really uh, help the jordan civil defense for the dealing with the uh, accident with the refugees the whole people the, those people they are living on jordan we serve uh, them and also it is free of charge. This is a big challenge for the Jordan civil defense.